Most men think women get turned on by what they see or what you do with your hands. But according to neuroscience and sexual medicine research, what actually drives her arousal isn't physical at first, it's psychological. It's how your voice, your words, and even your tone activate her brain's arousal centers long before touch even begins. In fact, a 2021 review in the Journal of Sexual Medicine found that over 80% of women reported emotional connection and verbal reassurance as the strongest predictors of sexual satisfaction, stronger than any physical technique. So today, I'm going to break down exactly how this works from a scientific and clinical point of view and how you can use it to create more genuine, exciting, and emotionally charged intimacy with your partner. Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Georgia Bennett, urologist and men's health educator. And in this video, we're going to unpack what 10,000 women have admitted they crave in bed, but often feel too shy to ask for. This isn't about tricks or performance lines. It's about understanding how female arousal actually works, biologically and emotionally, so you can build deeper trust, connection, and chemistry in the bedroom. Here's what we'll explore today. First, the science of arousal, how the female brain processes desire differently from men. Second, the power of words and tone, and how specific kinds of communication activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which is responsible for deep relaxation and arousal. Third, we'll go through real phrases and psychological principles backed by research that can make your connection feel natural, confident, and safe. And finally, I'll show you what not to do, the mistakes most men make when they try to talk dirty or express desire, and how to avoid turning a moment of intimacy into awkward silence. According to a 2019 study in the Archives of Sexual Behavior, women's sexual satisfaction is directly linked to emotional responsiveness and perceived verbal attention from their partners. That means the way you speak, breathe, and listen can have just as much impact as physical touch itself. So if you've ever wondered how to make your partner feel seen, desired, and safe, using nothing but your presence and your words, this episode will give you the science, the structure, and the confidence to do it right. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want more science-based, urologist-approved insights on men's health, performance, and real intimacy. Let's begin. The Science of Female Arousal when we talk about female arousal, most men picture something purely physical, touch, movement, or stimulation. But clinically, that's only a small part of the story. As a urologist, I can tell you, female arousal begins in the brain, not the body. Research from the Journal of Sexual Medicine, 2020, explains that female desire is primarily regulated by the limbic system, the emotional center of the brain, and influenced by neurotransmitters like dopamine, oxytocin, and serotonin. These chemicals determine whether she feels safe, connected, and emotionally open. Without that emotional safety, her body literally can't fully respond, no matter how skilled you are physically. Now, here's what's fascinating. Studies using functional MRI imaging, including research from the University of Groningen in the Netherlands, show that during arousal, a woman's amygdala, the brain's threat detector, must quiet down before arousal can fully activate. That means trust, comfort, and emotional connection are biological prerequisites for pleasure. In other words, if she doesn't feel seen, valued, or understood, her brain won't send the right signals to the body, even if everything looks looks right on the surface. This is where language becomes a powerful tool. When you speak with warmth, presence, and certainty, your tone can actually activate the parasympathetic nervous system, the rest and receive branch that governs relaxation, blood flow, and genital arousal. It's the opposite of the stress response. So when your voice is calm, your words are genuine, and your focus is entirely on her, you're not just talking sexy. You're sending neurobiological cues of safety, which in turn increase vaginal lubrication, sensitivity, and blood flow to the clitoral region. 
According to the Archives of Sexual Behavior, 2019, women reported the highest levels of satisfaction when partners combined verbal reassurance, emotional attentiveness, and slow pacing. These cues help her brain shift out of performance mode and into presence, which is where real arousal lives. So before we even get into the words or techniques, understand this. You don't turn her on by trying harder. You turn her on by helping her nervous system relax. That's the truth true starting point of great sex, both physiologically and emotionally. How language creates arousal. If touch activates the body, then words activate the mind. And for women, the mind is where desire begins. Language isn't just communication, it's a neurochemical signal. Every word you say, every tone you use, is processed by her brain's auditory cortex, which then sends messages to regions like the hypothalamus and nucleus accumbens, the same areas that light up during pleasure and anticipation. In other words, when you speak with genuine desire and calm confidence, you're literally stimulating her reward circuits. You're creating what psychologists call an anticipatory arousal loop, where imagination and emotion combine to heighten physical sensation. A 2018 study in the Journal of Sex Research confirmed that women experience stronger subjective arousal when verbal cues are emotionally congruent, meaning when the tone and words match authentic intent, not performance. Let's simplify that. It's not about how dirty or romantic your words are. It's about whether your tone and timing make her feel safe, desired, and seen, because that's what her nervous system reads as truth. When your words reflect what you're actually feeling in the moment, you activate her mirror neurons, specialized brain cells that allow humans to feel what others express. So when you whisper, you look incredible right now, and your tone carries genuine admiration, her brain mirrors that emotion internally. That's why she feels it as a real heat, not performance. Contrast that with empty lines or scripted phrases. If your voice sounds forced or disconnected, the same limbic centers register incongruence, and that instantly pulls her out of the moment. Her brain moves from trust and arousal to analysis and self-consciousness. The key takeaway here is simple but powerful. Your language of desire should always be rooted in observation and appreciation, not performance. Comment on what's real, the way she moves, breathes, or reacts. When your words match what's happening in her body, you anchor her in the present moment. That's when arousal deepens naturally, without needing to force anything. So the next time you think talking in bed feels awkward, remember... It's not about acting. It's about using your voice as an extension of presence, empathy, and awareness. That's what turns words into chemistry. Clinical insight. What studies reveal. When we strip away myths and guesswork, the science is clear. Female arousal is a biopsychosocial process, meaning it's shaped by biology, emotion, communication, and environment all working together. That's why verbal presence and emotional connection often outperform physical technique alone. One of the most comprehensive analyses comes from the Journal of Sexual Medicine 2020, which surveyed over 10,000 women across multiple countries. It found that verbal expressions of desire, emotional responsiveness, and feeling seen were among the top predictors of orgasm frequency and sexual satisfaction, ranking even higher than physical attractiveness or duration of intercourse. This lines up perfectly with findings from the Kinsey Institute, which show that when men used affirming and specific verbal feedback during intimacy, like, I love how you respond when I touch you there, women reported stronger emotional bonding and significantly higher subjective arousal scores. It's not magic. It's neurobiology and trust working hand in hand. In neurophysiology terms, your voice functions as a biochemical trigger. A calm, slow tone increases oxytocin release, the same hormone responsible for connection and affection, while reducing cortisol, the stress hormone that shuts down arousal pathways. That hormonal shift allows better blood flow to the genitals, increases lubrication, and relaxes pelvic muscles, all essential for pleasurable intimacy.
And it's not just theory. Clinical trials published in Psychophysiology 2019 demonstrated that women who received continuous verbal reassurance during partnered stimulation showed measurable increases in vaginal pulse amplitude, a physiological marker of arousal. That's objective evidence that what you say and how you say it directly affects her body's response. But here's what's even more important. The benefit doesn't end in the bedroom. Long-term relationship studies, including those from the Gottman Institute, show that couples who use consistent, positive verbal reinforcement, compliments, gratitude, affectionate words, report greater relationship satisfaction, lower anxiety, and more fulfilling sexual intimacy over time. So when we talk about using your words in bed, we're not talking about performance or seduction. We're talking about communication that nurtures the neurochemical and emotional foundation of trust, which is the single greatest predictor of great sex and lasting intimacy. Practical Framework – How to Apply This Skill Now that we understand why language is so powerful, let's talk about how to actually use it in a way that feels natural, confident, and respectful. I call this the four-phase framework of verbal arousal, a clinically grounded method that blends emotional intelligence with physiological awareness. Phase 1. Observation. Before saying anything, start by paying attention. Notice her breathing, her expressions, her reactions. What you're doing here is engaging your mirror neurons, the brain's empathy circuits, which help you read subtle emotional cues. When you speak based on what you observe rather than what you assume, your words sound more genuine. Example, instead of scripted compliments, say, I love how relaxed you get when I touch you like this. It shows attentiveness and presence, both key triggers for emotional arousal. Phase two, acknowledgement. This step is about using simple, specific appreciation. According to research in the Archives of Sexual Behavior 2019, compliments tied to the present moment create stronger emotional resonance. Example, you smell amazing. Your skin feels so warm. These observations tell her brain, I'm fully here with you, which quiets anxiety and heightens arousal through the parasympathetic system. Phase three, affirmation. Now you gently express your own desire. Use calm, declarative language. No pressure, just authenticity. Example, you turn me on so much. I love being close to you right now. Statements like these communicate vulnerability and confidence together, a combination proven in studies to enhance oxytocin bonding and mutual trust. Phase four, consent and timing. Finally, respect pacing and permission. Never rush the moment or imitate lines that are yours. Let silence and breath do some of the work. When your partner feels emotionally safe, her body responds automatically. No force, no performance. Remember, your words don't have to be perfect. They just have to be true, timed, and spoken with presence. That's what transforms verbal expression from awkward to deeply arousing. Real talk men make and how to avoid them. Now, before we move deeper into the practical side, let's talk about the most common mistakes men make when they try to use language in intimacy. Because if you misunderstand this part, even the best phrases can fall flat, or worse, make your partner feel disconnected instead of desired. Mistake number one, performing instead of connecting. Many men think they have to sound sexy, but performance-based talk activates your own stress response, not your presence. The more you try to imitate a script, the less authentic you sound. Women's brains are extremely good at detecting emotional incongruence. Studies from the Journal of Nonverbal Behavior show that when tone and body language don't match, trust drops instantly. The solution? Stop acting. Start observing. Speak from what you see and feel in real time. Mistake number two talking too much. Verbal arousal is not a podcast, it's a rhythm. When you overload the moment with too many words, you interrupt the body's natural flow. Think of your voice like background music, occasional, deliberate, and perfectly timed. Say one or two sentences, then pause. Let your breath and silence become part of the rhythm. Mistake number three, using generic or unreal compliments. Lines like, you're so hot, or you're amazing, are fine, but vague. They don't anchor her in the present. 
Instead, use specificity. Example, you look so beautiful in this light, or I love the way your body moves when you breathe. Specific language builds emotional trust because it proves you're paying attention. Mistake number four, seeking reassurance. Asking, does that feel good every few seconds, signals uncertainty. There's nothing wrong with checking in, but constant reassurance breaks immersion. Instead, use observation as feedback, right there, or yes, stay just like that. This conveys confidence and attentiveness simultaneously. Mistake number five, ignoring emotional context. Arousal doesn't exist in a vacuum. If there's unresolved tension, criticism, or lack of affection outside the bedroom, no words will fix that. Real intimacy is built 24 hours a day through kindness, patience, and respect. When you avoid these mistakes, your words stop being techniques and start becoming truths, the kind that deepen trust, emotional closeness, and real desire. Reframing intimacy, the new language of connection. Let's zoom out for a moment. When we talk about intimacy, most people still think it's all about technique, what to do, how to move, what to say. But if we look through the lens of neuroscience and sexual medicine, real connection is not about doing more, it's about feeling more. According to a 2021 review published in the Journal of Sexual Medicine, emotional attunement, the ability to sense and respond to your partner's emotional state, is one of the strongest predictors of long-term sexual satisfaction. It's not performance, it's presence. So when we talk about verbal arousal, we're really talking about a new kind of communication, one that engages both the emotional brain, the limbic system, and the arousal network, the hypothalamus and nucleus accumbens. These two systems feed off trust, curiosity, and vulnerability, not dominance or scripted control. In simpler terms, intimacy is not something you achieve, it's something you allow. When you learn to speak from a grounded, authentic place, calm breathing, steady tone, soft confidence, your partner's body responds automatically. This is the body's neuroception of safety, a concept described by Dr. Stephen Porges in his polyvagal theory. It means your nervous system subconsciously detects safety through subtle cues, voice tone, eye contact, pace, and empathy. That's why your voice matters more than your words. A slow, warm tone activates her parasympathetic system, signaling relaxation and openness, while a rushed or tense tone does the opposite. So, the real secret isn't about sounding like a movie character. It's about learning to regulate your own state first. When your breath is calm, your body is grounded, and your words are genuine, your partner feels that energy. And over time, this becomes a new language, one where words, touch, and silence work together to build deeper trust, greater pleasure, and emotional closeness that lasts far beyond the moment itself. Because ultimately, connection isn't spoken, it's felt. So let's bring everything full circle. We've explored how the science of language, tone, and emotional safety intertwines with physiology and why words can be one of the most powerful forms of foreplay. Here's a quick recap of what the research and real-world experience tells us. Your brain and body are connected. The same parasympathetic nervous system that helps you relax also governs arousal and pleasure. When you breathe deeply and speak slowly, you activate this system, signaling safety and connection. Presence beats performance. Studies in the Journal of Sexual Medicine and Human Communication Research confirm that emotional attunement and authenticity consistently predict satisfaction far more than appearance or technique. In other words, what your partner feels emotionally will shape how they respond physically. Tone is everything. The vagus nerve, the body's main parasympathetic highway, responds directly to vocal tone. A warm, resonant voice doesn't just sound confident, it literally calms the listener's nervous system, allowing arousal and trust to rise naturally. So here's the final takeaway. Stop trying to sound perfect, start trying to be present. Because the most magnetic, confident energy in the world isn't about dominance, it's about grounded awareness, self-control, and empathy. If you practice this, slow breathing, mindful observation, intentional speech, you'll begin to notice a shift. Moments become richer, 
Touch feels more connected. Your partner opens up more easily. That's the power of combining science with self-awareness. It's not about tricks. It's about tuning your nervous system and your communication to the same frequency of trust. If you found this valuable and want to learn how to optimize your body, performance, and confidence using real medical science, not internet myths, subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell. Because every week, we're breaking down men's health, hormones, and intimacy from a urologist's perspective, so you can understand your body better, perform better, and live with real confidence. Remember, better connection starts with better awareness.